Today we are going to study a very important topic in economics that is called opportunity cost. We all know the resources or factors of production we studied previously. They are limited in supply. They are not in abundance. If everything is available to everyone, is there any need of studying management sciences and economics and any other subject? If all of your wants are fulfilled, there is no scarcity, then there will be no need to study the management of resources of an economy. Clear? Why are we studying these things? Because everyone wants cannot be fulfilled. It is due to the scarcity of resources. The resources are limited. And due to that limitation of resources, they are also having alternate uses. Then this piece of land is having different alternate uses. We are having school over here. There could be a business opportunity for the business people. They were having a production unit of leather garments over there previously. Or uh, there could be any government office on the same building. The same building. So we can't say there is only one option of having this piece of land to run a school or a college. But there can be different options. Yeah. So we have to choose the best one. What we have to do? We have to choose the best one. Our life is full of choices. We cannot do everything of our choice. Right now, if you are taking a class of economics, you might have been taking another subject in science, maybe physics or chemistry. And you have to sacrifice one of them, either to take economics or to take a chemistry class have to make a choice. So when we are making choices, we have to leave other things. Other choices have to be left. When we make a decision in our daily life, we have to sacrifice the other choices and the next best choice which we are sacrificing, that is called opportunity cost of our decision. Clear? So opportunity cost is what? It is it is next best alternative alternative which is for one which is for one for the sake of for the sake of our present decision When we take a decision, we make a choice. Okay? So, if it is present at all the levels where decisions are made, for a student, we say there are different choices to choose a subject. If you are choosing economics, you are leaving the other one. So, whatever the best option you are leaving for studying economics, that is your so you, when you are deciding about uh, your area of study in A levels, so you have to consider the other choices as well. If you are continuing with science groups, so this could be the opportunity cost. Now you have sacrificed the sciences, the natural sciences subjects, and you have opted for business group. So this is what the decision you have made to study economics, business and accounting. The other group you have sacrificed, that is the opportunity cost of your decision. Clear? So students are also facing this opportunity cost. Who else is facing? First of all, we say consumer and opportunity cost. Do you face consumer and opportunity cost? Do you face any type of opportunity cost while you are making a decision about the consumption? You go to any fast food shop and you decide to buy fried chicken and along with that if a burger is also available but you have limited income either you have to choose fried chicken <coughs> or a burger so if you go for fried chicken the other option will be your option so consumers they are also facing 
the presence of opportunity cost when they make a decision because the resource or income whatever is present with them that is limited they cannot buy everything within that income clear on the other hand the producers producers they also face this opportunity cost <laughs> producer and opportunity cost when producer is going to decide what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce these are the basic economic questions we will deal them in the next class but right now when we say now the consumer is go, sorry producer is going to produce footballs he was having an option to produce uh, for example to run a restaurant or to have the production of footballs when he decided for the production of footballs the other option best option which he has sacrificed that is called the opportunity cost of production right now when the production decision is taken so he or she will be deciding what to produce according to consumer wants what consumers are going to want in the market so producer has to decide in the favor of consumer so when he decides something the other option will be the opportunity cost and it is arising i said earlier due to scarcity of resources resources are limited that's why we have to make a choice in our decision okay who else is going to face the opportunity cost can i say labor and opportunity cost <coughs> how labor is going to face the opportunity cost there are different occupations this different choices of occupations so when a person decides to choose the occupation of teaching for education the other option like maybe a job in the bank that could be the opportunity cost of the decision of the worker or a person so labor is also going to face this opportunity cost keep in mind this is not the cost which is measured in terms of money this is actually the cost in terms of choice clear so every economic decision making is having opportunity cost either the consumer is there producer is there or labor and at the end we can say do you think government is also going to make an opportunity cost whatever the tax revenue is collected by the government they are using the tax in order to produce either health care services in the country or to have stronger defense of the country if they produce more of defense items because our enemy is stronger than us so what is the opportunity cost of this decision poor health conditions of the people of the country clear so government is also facing a problem in the decision making because there is always involvement of opportunity cost clear is it all right to you now there can be a few goods which are having opportunity cost which is zero this is the opportunity cost in terms of choice identified there is a positive opportunity cost which is present in the decision making like we are producing uh, educational services and we have sacrificed something else okay and consumer is also facing a positive opportunity cost he has to sacrifice one item this is the best item which is going to sacrifice now do you think i, I have written one thing the next best alternative for example this building is having many options for the land owner to rent it out one option was that a school is going to hire it or it is going to take it for educational purposes another option is that a hospital is also going to offer a good rent to the land owner another option is that a government office is also interested to have this piece of land for their office clear so school has offered maybe 2 million rent for this building hospital was offering 1.5 million whereas a government office was offering 1.2 million of rent so there are three options the land owner or building owner has rented it out to the school at 2 million
premium debt, what is the opportunity cost? Both of the options are the next best. Next best is the opportunity cost, which was a hospital that was offering 1.5 million of rent for this building. So we said the next best alternative, not all the options which have been sacrificed. And we are not going to have a total of all the options. We see what is the next best alternative which is foregone for the sake of the present decision. Clear? If I am choosing this job, I am having different options as well. Which one is the next best? That is the only opportunity cost. Not all the options are my opportunity cost. So it takes place in everywhere when we are making a decision. Okay, now zero opportunity cost. Do you think there are some goods which are having zero opportunity cost? What are those goods? Free goods. How can you define free goods? Free goods. How can we define the free goods? You give the example of the free good. Now the definition of free good is that which does not require the allocation of resources to produce them. Yes. Anything which is not requiring any employment of resources to produce, that is called a free good. Alright. For example, for example, if sunshine, sunshine, both are produced by nature. Are we putting in any factor of production to produce them? There is no economic cost involved in order to produce these goods. They are free. And they have zero opportunity cost. Why it is zero opportunity cost? There is, if we are, we all are breathing, are we sacrificing anything? We are using sunlight, are we sacrificing anything else? What else we are sacrificing while we are using air and sunlight? Or we are also having the benefit of rainfall? Are we sacrificing anything else? So when nothing is sacrificed, that is called a zero opportunity cost of the free food. Follow my point? Now come towards the other thing which is called economic good. Economic good is that which requires economic resources to produce them. And there is a long list of economic goods. Consumer goods, producer goods, public goods, merit goods, demerit goods, durable goods, non-durable, perishable, non-perishable. All these goods which require the resources to produce them. They have, they are called economic goods and they are not having zero opportunity costs. Do, do they have zero opportunity costs? We have to sacrifice something in order to produce them. That's why we say they are having positive opportunity costs. Okay, my question is that if someone is distributing consumer items as a charity, for example, food is distributed among four people as a charity, do you think that food which is distributed, it is a free food? That was an MCQ related to this charity. Do you think that distributed charity food is a free good? That is economic good, although it is distributed on charity basis, but the resources were also used to produce them. Any food item people distribute them during the holy months of uh, Islamic calendar. So we have these goods which are distributed in charity, they are not said to be the free goods, rather they have been required to produce them by using the resources. This is one point I had in mind, so I explained it to you. Now what else is going to have the zero opportunity cost? That is unemployed resources. Unemployed resources. If one piece of land was barren, it was not used for any other purpose. So we have constructed a building on that. What did we sacrifice? Nothing. There was no other option on that piece of land which was unemployed. So any resource which is unemployed, and there was no other option to have any other thing to be produced. So that resource is going to have 
zero percent. When any unemployed person is getting a job, what he or she sacrificing? The leisure time. No other job is being sacrificed. Only leisure is sacrificed. Clear? So we say unemployed resources. They are also having zero opportunity cost. Now the third one is that single use item. Single use items. One item can be used in different ways. Like our phone, cell phone is having different uses. We can use it for making a call to other people or listen to a call from other people. We can also use it for internet purposes, for entertaining ourselves. So there are different options which are available within a phone. At one time we are using at least one, and we are sacrificing the other. Clear? So anything which is having multiple uses. That is having the opportunity cost. There are different options, but there is a single machinery which is having single use. It is only used for stitching of gloves. It cannot do any other thing else. Or stitching of gloves. So when we have a machinery which is in single use, it has zero opportunity cost. But it is going to have a zero opportunity cost when a machinery is going to have a single use. There is no other option. For that machinery to be used, so all these three items like free goods, unemployed resources, or single-use items, they are having zero opportunity cost. So it is present around us that opportunity cost can be zero. But most of the time, and definitely in case of economic goods, there is positive opportunity cost. And opportunity cost is what whatever is sacrificed for the sake of our decision making. The next best thing, which a person, a government, any economic agent, he or she has sacrificed for the sake of present decision, that is called an opportunity cost. And it is involved due to scarcity of resources and their alternate uses. If there are no alternate uses of the resources, there will be no opportunity cost. So when alternate uses are present, then opportunity cost is there. That's why during uh, teaching you about the rewards of factors of production, I said reward of all the factors of production are determined by the opportunity cost. As opportunity cost of land is increasing, rent will also increase. As opportunity cost of a teacher is increasing. Then his wage or salary will also increase. As opportunity cost of capital is increasing, then definitely capital will have high rate of interest on it. So every decision making, including factors of production, including production of consumer and capital goods, including the production of public and private goods, merit goods, all they involve opportunity cost whenever a decision is made. So this is the importance, and we will be doing its uh, diagram as well in our coming lessons. So this I thought this should be taught to you after the factors of production, and then uh, tomorrow I will be doing methodology of uh, the subject economics. How do we uh, use different methodologies in order to study the subject of economics? Okay. So tomorrow we will be doing that. Also.